Hey YouTube, I want to show you some of my favorite iPad applications that I have on my own personal iPad. I wanted to share those with you today. Um, you know at the moment the iPad 2 that today is uh, June the 17th and the iPad 2 jailbreak is supposed to be released any moment now. Um, but until then, you know, there's we're sort of restricted as to the App Store apps. We can't get Cydia apps on our iPad 2. So uh, I wanted to share some of my favorite iPad 2. Some of you, you know, you want to get your uh, iPad set up and running um, right out of the gate and not have to spend a lot of time searching through what's best and what's not. Uh, with today's social networking being so popular I want to hit on Facebook and Twitter right out of the gate and I was a big fan of Tweetbot that's this application right here until I received until I got my iPad 2 and as you can see you can only use it in the portrait mode and that just gets under my skin so bad that the developers of this application didn't think far enough in advance to at least be able to fix this application to where it would run and it, it would in landscape or portrait either one. But that's one of my big gripes with Tweetbot, but I am still a big Tweetbot fan. Uh, but it only works in portrait mode so that's that's a big kicker on it okay so outside of that the original Twitter application is about the only one that you're going to find at the moment that's going to work in landscape and portrait mode both so for me at the moment I'm probably just going to be using the regular Twitter application and also Facebook same scenario you know it's it it does it will switch between landscape and portrait but it's not as easy to do as you may think uh, you have to jiggle it around well see, it wasn't that bad that time but it does work either way and you know that's a that's a positive you know in my book if they were working portrait or landscape either way but uh, there's one also called my my pad let's see where it's at right here my pad and there is a paid version of this and I I'm sure it's much better than the free version I don't know what the differences would be but I would say that it is a great difference you know as to what you can do with it but I do like this one here too for Facebook it's called my pad 2 let me make sure I'm telling you correct my pad 2 and there is a paid version of that also and this is a paid app it's called I socialize and you can see the portrait and the landscape mode is is a you know a problem with this too um, so that's going to have to be something that's going to have to be looked at you can tell I'm lifting the uh, device all the way up and it's not shifting directions at all you know that's, that's something that's going to have to be dealt with in these applications is the portrait and landscape view um, also another one of my favorites is of course uh, it's more of a game parts game side is Angry Birds any of the Angry Birds I'm a fan of but if you want to stay on top of everything that's going on in the app world you need to get this little application right here called App Advice and what it is is it is an application that ranks the top applications by week, day, month and it tells a little bit about each one of them so with being over 300,000 applications in the Apple Store 
this is going to be about the only way that you're ever going to know what's best, what's freshest, what's the, you know, meaning newest, what should be coming up, you know, and just what's going on in the uh, application world. So check it out. It's called App Advice. It's two ninety nine in the store. I know that's pretty expensive. But uh, it is, it is well worth it. Another one of my favorites is called Hootsuite, and there is a, a paid version of this. This the free version lets you add up to five social networks, and you can even add things like your WordPress blogs, uh, Twitter, uh, any of the social networks. You know, you can add them in here. So. It's a great place to set up a schedule to uh, have a tweet released at a certain time or a Facebook posting at a certain time. It's great to do that with also. And as you can see, it's divided up by um, category of, right here's my home feed for my iPhone captain. And you can see I haven't been on it today because I had 50 new messages. But you just see how easily everything is looked at. Here's your feeds, your mentions, and your direct messages right over here. Everything to me, if you're going to use social networking, Hootsuite is the way to go by far most. It's, above, it's head and ears above everything else on the market right now that I've found. So give it a try. It's free. And if you have more than five social networks or more than five accounts, like say you have five Twitter accounts, five Facebook accounts, and five WordPress blogs, you know, you're going to have to get the premium version. And it's only like a buck ninety nine a month, maybe. I forget exactly what the price is, but it's not it's not expensive at all. I, because I had it for a while and ended up dropping back down. I think it's I think it's a like I said a buck nine out of month. All right, so we're sort of hitting on the social network. Um, while we're on this side of things, uh, just for advice purposes, if you want to keep on top of everything going on in the uh, tech world of i devices, you probably need to join some of these forums and some of my favorites is going to be the iPad forum, the iPhone forum and uh, iPhone Captain of course is going to be one of those. Um, also you need to put iBooks on your device. This allows you to download and view books on your, read books on your device and it's it is amazing how great this app is too. It's iBooks. You can, you can read PDF files or let me see if I can pull it up here for you. It's even got a place in New York Times. I'm actually in top charts. That's what I was looking for. Right here. You can get your top paid novels, books. You got a tons and tons of free books. Um, the 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 list is just endless. It, it's just growing daily. And right here is an iPad 2 Super Guide. That would be something that I would probably be interested in. And see, you can get a sample of that simply by just tap tap tapping Get Sample, and we can read it. See what it looks like. Here's what the and you actually turn the pages just like a book. See that? Okay, and there's a little bit of the author, uh, iPad at a glance, and it just tells you, you know, your different kinds of things. And to me, it's just a great application. Um, eBay, QVC, HSN, and I've got the WordPress on here. You get a free calculator, HBO Go. That's something I did a review on on the iPhone. Also, if you don't have, if you are a Direct Dish or any any of those um, paid satellite subscription uh, for the television, you can get HBO Go. 
and you can watch movies right over 3G and it's it's amazing what all you can do with it and I'm just sort of trying to hit some of the my favorite stuff uh, you can get the text free for the iPad uh, and another thing if you're going to do a lot of uh, communicating with your iPad you might want to go ahead and get Skype that's a paid you can get a phone number and a text where you can take well actually you you can call and text anybody that's got a Skype account free but if you want to use it as a phone then you're going to have to purchase a phone number and it's like 18 bucks for a phone number so it's well worth the money there and let's see what else should should a beginning person with an iPad put on their device uh, ringtone maker that's just something I did Google Earth gee whiz Zenio that's just where I get my magazines I have a couple subscriptions of magazines that come directly right into that um, before I go I want to mention something else to you if you need a place to get some online storage Dropbox you get two free gigs Sugar Sync you get five free gigs those are two of the best ones out there that are the simplest I think to use so there's seven free gigs of space that you can get just to try the product, and you can and it and it never runs out. But you can add up to a hundred gigs of space. You can buy it for like twenty bucks a month. I think hundred gigs is, and I mean that's just unheard of the amount of space that you, you know, two gigs to me and a five gig, you know, that's. A place to share pictures or put uh, something that you might want to a PDF file you might want to save and have on file for something that you can load up from any device and you know from anywhere you might be just on the spur of the moment I've got 3d wallpapers here and I got analytics for my Google that's free uh, find my iPhone there's supposed to be one called find my iPad but I've not been able to get to locate it just yet and but like I said uh, check out this app advice that's probably going to be the best way to stay on top of the app world to know what's going on and I hope this has pretty much covered everything that a beginner would need Tapper Talk is also a good way to get all your forms in one location. Uh, check it out. I'll have all these listed in the description. And if there's something else that I haven't covered and you got a question about, please feel free to hit me up on the channel here for a question or comment. But I appreciate you watching the video, and I hope this helps. And I want to invite everybody to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com and iPhone4Noob.com. And I'll see you guys there.